Well, good afternoon again, everyone. I hope you're enjoying uh, your luncheon. This actually is our 27th year of honoring our firemen and police officer of the area. So we're very, very excited today uh, to recognize each one of you and look forward to the presentation. So if I could invite uh, Dennis Martino, uh, as I said earlier, Dennis started this program uh, 27 years ago. Um, he has been a true advocate uh, to ensure that we keep this on our calendar every year and make sure that we're recognizing our uh, fellow officers and firemen in the area. So, uh, Mr. Martino. Thank you, Danny. I want to w welcome everybody today to this program. This is one of my favorite programs of the year. There's three of my favorite programs. We honor the veterans during Veterans Day. We bring the military over here. We honor the firefighters two weeks ago. And this week, we have police officer of the year of our four cities that are around the airport. Um, we can't say as Rotarians uh, enough how much we appreciate our police officers uh, and the people that protect us in this area. You guys, uh, you guys and women do it every day, and we really, really appreciate it. What we're going to do is go in alphabetical order, and I'll try to keep it right. I know I got out of alphabetical order a couple weeks ago, just on the very last one. But we'll start with the uh, Atlanta Airport uh, Police, and I'm going to ask at this time Captain Marisha Shepard come forward and tell us. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to everyone. Here we have Officer Jeanette Franklin. She's a native Floridian, joined the Atlanta Police Department in November 2007. She began her career in Zone 3 and has worked assignments with the Fugitive Task Force, License and Permits, and Zone 6. Officer Franklin's current assignment is on the morning watch here at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. In 2012, it was identified that there was a substantial increase of residentially challenged persons using the airport atrium as day-night shelter. Although many had been given criminal trespass warnings and even arrested, they returned to the airport as repeat offenders. The Atlanta Police Department airport session sought to aggressively challenge this problem by changing their practice of making repeated arrests and issuing multiple criminal trespasses. A revised homeless outreach system that will establish community partnerships and connect these persons with social services uh, that they needed would eliminate their residential problem and we adopted that system. As the lead officer on the Morning Watch Homeless Task Force, Officer Franklin formulated a system of her on her watch that would further reduce the number of criminal trespass arrests by more than 50%. Her aggressive efforts, along with her team members, Officers Lamont Hill and Willie Arnold, developed an accountable method that identified those that were residentially challenged, as well as persons that may be in a mental health or substance abuse crisis. Officer Franklin and her team they field interview and assess these person in an effort to determine their needs and assist them in connecting with one of our social service partners. Persons are then personally transported to the receiving shelter or to a mental or substance abuse facility. Also Franklin's outstanding drive to make a difference in this society is encouraged by a quote from Mahatma Gandhi and it reads, Man often becomes what he believes himself to be. If I keep on saying to myself that I cannot do a certain thing, it is possible that I might end up really becoming incapable of doing it. On the contrary, if I have the belief that I can do it, I shall surely acquire the capacity to do it, even if I may not have it at the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, Please help me commend for her outstanding performance, one of Atlanta's finest, Officer Jeanette Franklin. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I would like to say thank you to my backbone partner, um, Officer Arnold. Um, with this, uh, he has made a very big job a little bit easier. Um, our other uh, partner, um, Officer uh, Hill, was not able to attend today. He had a funeral to do. He's on our honor guard. And also, with the help of uh, my supervisors, uh, it's the top job that we were able to get done. Thank you for the award. I really appreciate it. We have uh, three things to give you. First of all, we have a certificate saying uh, that you are hereby recognized for service above self and awarded Police Officer of the Year for 2013 from the Atlanta Airport Rotary Club and the Atlanta Airport Police Department. Thank you. And, uh, our president has two things to give to you. On behalf of the uh, Renaissance Atlanta Airport, which is on the grounds of the Atlanta Airport in Fulton County, we'd like to present you with a weekend stay here at our hotel. Um, there's some other goodies inside, and hopefully you and a significant other can come out and enjoy yourself. Thank you. And last but not least, from our Rotary Club, is a check for $100 cash to made up to you to do whatever you want to do with it. Thank so. you again. All right. <laughs> um, and we have with you some special guests here, too, today. Yes, right? my twin is here, uh -huh. Sabrina, yeah. my daughter, uh -huh. Daynette Franklin, and my niece, uh -huh. Gabby. Why don't you, you three come up and let's get a group picture yeah. here. Let's all squeeze together. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you. So let's get them in here. My way to get them in the middle. It looks like she came from work also. <laughs> <laughs> this is my big baby. She's 13 wow. and she's already standing at 510 above mom. <laughs> And next, from the great city of College Park, Georgia, we have uh, Major Block here to represent the police department, and their uh, their police officer of the year is Revy Hines. Will they please come forward? Thank you, Dennis. <clears throat> I'm Major Block, College Park Police, and I just want to thank our chief, Chief Fears, for allowing me to uh, represent him today and honor Officer uh, Rave Hines. Um, I've been here three times, once to honor our Special Operations Lieutenant, Lieutenant Ward, once as a recipient. Thank you again. And they say the third time is the charm because this is the most gratifying for me to uh, uh, honor one of my uh, silver bullets, a uh, member of our Special Operations team. When it's time to kill a werewolf or put a stake through a vampire's heart. It's, it's someone like Rave Hines who I'm going to call. He's been with the department for just over five years, I believe, in December. And uh, shortly after coming to the department, we realized he has some potential. And within about two years, we assigned him to special operations. And their job is uh, uh, prevention of serious crimes, motor thefts, vice, robberies, burglaries, auto theft. Um, Any time that we have uh, any spike in any type of uh, serious crimes, it's always special operations. They're put on very short notice. Their schedules are apt to change with uh, no notice and uh, never hear any complaints uh, from Officer Hines. I think the one time that he did complain is because we changed the rules of engagement to give some of the criminals a fair chance. And, <laughs> and, and we regretted doing that, and uh, we've taken that back because uh, we don't want to give them a fair chance. We want to, we want to teach them a lesson. So, uh, and this is the guy that's going to do it. Let me just tell you about uh, 2013, and I just want to apologize. I'm not a great orator. I only got a C in uh, uh, communications, oral communications in college, but I will do my best. In 2013, 
he had 166 physical arrests. 58 of those were for serious felonies, and overall he had 397 cases, which makes him one of our top five most productive officers, and that's not to include traffic officers who are out there writing speeding tickets all day long. These are serious cases, and if anyone's ever dealt with the Fulton County Complaint Room, you know what's involved in making a felony case. You can be there all day, all night, filling out reports, swearing out affidavits, getting uh, a, arrest warrants for every case that you make. And uh, I just want to say that uh, <clears throat> the uh, term College Park's Finest goes to Officer Rob A. Hines, and uh, it's a pleasure to work with you, alongside of you. And uh, one day when I'm on the outside looking in, I know that uh, I'll have left the department in good hands of uh, Investigator Rob A. Hines. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Um, afternoon, I just want to say uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I don't think that any of this was possible without my training, supervisors like uh, Major Block, Lieutenant Ward, <clears throat> and also um, my coworkers that I work with. Um, it's, it's all about teamwork, so I can't get this without them. I can't take it. This is for you all as well. This is for Major Block. Thank you so much. And also, uh, my better half on most days, <laughs> but always, my wife, Mrs. Hines, thank you all so much. Abdul, you want to come up? <laughs> Abdul, you want to... First of all, we have three things to give you, too. Uh, recognizing you as the police officer of the year for College Park, Atlanta Airport Thanks, Rotary sir. Club. And we have uh, Abdul here from, he's the director of security of uh, the Marriott Gateway there, and he has something to present to you. And we'd like to present to you a uh, two-night stay at the Atlanta Airport Marriott Gateway. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you for what you do. And uh, let's see. And last but not least, we have a check. Wait, should I give it to the white man? You know, I'm going to call it. I'm to do whatever you think you should do. Thank you again. Thank you. And let's squeeze together and get uh, one photo here. <laughs> College Park, I want to recognize a friend of mine, Gerald Walker. Gerald has come many years and taken photos, videos for us, shared them with us. And thank you very much, Gerald. We really appreciate your great work. He's the information officer there for College Park. Uh, next, we have the great city of East Point. And we've got uh, Chief Woodrow Blue, you know, to come forward along with their recipient, Walter C. Watts Jr. as the recipient. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Rotary Club for uh, this opportunity and for recognizing uh, our Officer of the Year and the other officers from the other surrounding community. We, we certainly do appreciate uh, your efforts and things. Um, our Officer of the Year is a seven-year veteran of the East Point Police Department. I'm going to tell you some general things that makes, that makes him the Officer of the Year. One is his leadership skills. Uh, he is an officer that we use to mentor some of our young officers coming in you know, to show them the roles, to talk to them, and to give them a role model so they can help their career and they can be successful uh, officers for us. Uh, second one is that he leads by an example. He, he is a guy that goes out, does a job every day, do, do not look for any accolades or any pats on the back. He just want to make the community safer. Now, Officer Watts is assigned to our Special Operation Unit. And in the city of East Point, that is basically our COBRA unit, our Red Dog unit, our Undercover Drugs unit, our Jump Out Squad, and the guys that the Chief said, I need y'all to do something for me. Uh, you know, whenever there's a major problem in the city, you know, I don't look to Superman, because he can't do it. I don't look to Batman, 
I don't look to Spider-Man, and even my favorite, Captain America. I look to, I, I look to Corporal Watt. He is the man I call. Uh, just recently, we were talking about the incident. We were working with some of the hotels. We have a, a problem. Uh, the person we put in charge was Corporal Watt because we know that he'll get the job done, and he'll get it done in a professional manner with the right results. Now, to get Pacific without getting Pacific, uh, Officer Watt is responsible for taking a large number of drugs of offenders off the streets of East Point. And on top of that, he's also responsible for taking a large amount of drugs, which is even more important, off of the, off the streets of East Point, which we've been into the community. And, and for that, we thank him. I wish I can go into more detail about that part, but I can't. Uh, and some of the cases are still working their way through the course, and some are still working their way on the street where we constantly are making arrests off of them. So I do want to thank him for his service. I want to thank him for, for what he does. He is one of our finest, Officer Walter Watts. And my little brother. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. I'd like to thank the Atlanta Rotary Club, first of all, for this honor. Um, I'd also like to thank Chief Blue, um, Detective the Bridges, uh, the men and women, you know, all in law enforcement um, surrounding the metro area. Um, I'd definitely like to thank my uh, unit commanders, uh, Lieutenant Buchanan and Sergeant Bryan, and um, I definitely have to share this with uh, my team members of Special Operations Unit, um, Detective Johnson and uh, Investigator Demick, because uh, we're a small unit, but we work as a team and we have the same passion, the same goals every day when we come to work is to make the community safer um, by putting offenders away and taking these drugs off the street. So um, like again, I'd like to thank everybody and uh, God bless you all. Atlanta Airport Rotary, we'd like to present you with a check. So uh, you have a significant other, it goes to her. If not, it goes to you. <laughs> Just kidding. I, ha I have my good friend Andre Martin. He's the general manager of the Crown Plaza over here uh, in East Point. He has something to present to you. Not that you spend enough time already in the hotel, but uh, <laughs> this would be strictly for pleasure and personal business, so hopefully with uh, uh, your significant other. Uh, once you're ready to uh, redeem it, just let me know and we'll take very good care of you. All right? All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy. And last but not least, we have a certificate recognizing you as the police officer of the year for East Point. Let's right. squeeze together. He's in here. Last but not least, we have the city, the great city of Hapeville, and uh, our our recipient today could not come off a cruise to this. Y'all could understand that, but uh, his name's Jeff. But uh, we got William Hughes, who's a good friend of mine for City Hapeville, is going to say a few words on his behalf uh, too, and we're going to have him at a Rotary meeting later to actually receive the awards. William? Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Well, like I was just telling Dennis, I really appreciate the uh, opportunity to talk about um, Jeff uh, Chapman. Matter of fact, I met Jeff at the very beginning, at the uh, physical agility, the time he put his application in. And I realized Jeff was someone we wanted very early. He gave an excellent uh, impression and uh, with me. Matter of fact, just to give you an idea, at the early, um, earliest time I met Jeff, when it was time to do the uh, physical agility and run around the track, he went back to help others and coach them on to get them across, people that he was competing for to get a job, all right? And when I observed that, him getting involved and wanting to make a difference, regardless of he, and putting himself last to make sure others can get ahead, I said, this is the kind of gentleman that we want to work for the city of Hateville Police Department. Now, Jeff understands community policing. 
Jeff, only, the only barrier is the police car. He gets out of his car and, and greets people of all walks of life. He understands the community is the eyes and ears of the police department. In order to make a difference within your community, the, uh, the community needs to be involved. So he's raced all that. He allows everyone to come to him with information so that he, we can pass it on to CID and other members within the police department. That being said, Jeff also is a, uh, was elected by his peers within the whole police department, elected it to become the, the, uh, the uh, officer of the year. So his peers had put him in this situation where he could be honored and bestowed by this, the, um, the Rotary Club. So that in itself says something about Jeff Chapman. And another thing about Jeff, he, every single day, he, he, he tries to make a difference within his community. He takes care of himself, he runs six miles a day, he, uh, uh, he's concerned about uh, every member of the, of the police department, and he's no stranger to this award. Two years ago he received the award, and he probably would have received it last year, but I beat him out. But anyway, <laughs> so if, if I'm always competing with someone like Jeff to, to uh, um, emulate, as well as others can emulate, we have a great police department, we have a, a great team member, and I wish I was here to share this information with him and give him a big hug, because he deserves this. And I appreciate this, uh, this uh, honor of, uh, of uh, talking about Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Well, again, you know, we can't say enough from the Rotary Club to our police departments here in this area. What, what job you do, you know, uh, this is just one little time we can pat you on the back. From all of us, though, at Rotary, we do appreciate you more than just this one time a year. We do think about you. We do keep you in our prayers for being safe, and thank you for protecting us. And let me let uh, Danny uh, close the meeting here. Thank you much, very much, Dennis, uh, again, for your passion for this program and for continuing it, uh, keeping it alive for uh, 27 years now. So I certainly appreciate that. I certainly hope that all of you will uh, take advantage of dessert. Uh, it's outside on a separate table, and uh, we can you can continue to fellowship. And uh, if we could stand and do our forward test, and then we'll make our way out to um, take pictures. Pick up your dessert on the way in and enjoy yourself. So.